As an Englishman, or as an Englishwoman, as a proud Brit, as someone who is proud of your Englishness and English heritage, how do you feel looking and seeing this tweet by former democratically elected MP or member of the Welsh Senate, Plaid Cymru Plank, Leanne Wood? How do you feel knowing that this woman hates you with every fibre of her being? How does it feel knowing that this woman detests you, she dislikes you, simply because you were born on the wrong side of the Welsh-English border and your nationality? How does it feel as a proud English person and a proud British person, knowing that this woman can write such hatred against you, such discrimination and such blatant bigotry, and she doesn't get pulled up for it? Social media doesn't suspend her account or make her delete the tweet. How does it feel knowing there are many others like Leanne Wood living in Wales who harbour the same resentment and hatred towards you and they show that hatred with venom? Now as a Welshman and a proud Brit myself, I find this rather distasteful but she has the right to say it. You see, unlike Leanne Wood played Cymru Plank, we people on the right, or as she calls us, the far right, <laughs> we conservatives, we people who believe in preserving British heritage, English heritage. We also believe in free speech, even for our opponents, because by allowing these people to open their mouths and speak as they do and, and write as they will, all they do is prove us right. They reveal themselves to the world, what kind of people they really are. Now, if you go onto Plaid Cymru Plan Cleon Wood's Twitter page, you will see numerous tweets uh, spewing hatred and venom towards the English, Westminster, Majesty the Queen, the Royal Family, uh, the Union flag even. Because as you can see in her bio heading on her Twitter page, she describes herself as Welsh European, an internationalist, a socialist, feminist, anti-fascist, anti-imperialist, humanist, <laughs> republican, and her pronouns of course are she, her. Now it's interesting that Leanne Wood here identifies as a humanist, but I think that's uh, hypocrisy on her part, because her obvious hatred towards the English uh, shows her to be anything but a humanist. Now, of course, the Queen's Jubilee is coming up, and far-left, frothy, hissy-fit types like Leanne Wood, they're all getting their knick-knicks in a twist, because the Jubilee will be celebrating not just Her Majesty the Queen, but Britishness, the United Kingdom, the union of uh, four countries together. And it's this particular unity that these people, people like Leanne Wood, don't want. They detest it. They hate it. It makes them sick. It makes them hateful. You see, for some perverse reason, they would rather be in a union with the European Union, a union which is heavily restricted by red tape bureaucracy, a union that is run by unelected bureaucrats, who aren't voted into office. They are put there by people at the top uh, and, and they tell the European Union what to do. And to me, this is fundamentally wrong and it's ultimately undemocratic. And as we know, as we have seen since Brexit, that mess, thanks to the left, who did everything they could to stop us from leaving, the European Union is nothing more than a vindictive gang which squeezes the living hell out of countries who decide that they don't want to go along with the status quo anymore and they're questioning the European Union and all it stands for. And these countries get punished. They get severely, financially and economically punished by Brussels, these European um, unelected bureaucrats. And that's the union which people like Plaid Cymru, Plan, Cleanne Wood and her counterpart, well, I say counterpart, Leanne Wood isn't the leader of Plaid Cymru anymore. And thankfully, the good people of the Rhondda Valley had the good sense to see through her, her socialist, divisive politics, and they voted out her pointy Marxist ass out of the Welsh Assembly. Indeed, Wales deserves a better class of politician other than what hateful pissbags like Plaid Cymru Plank, Leanne Wood, can offer. And to be quite honest with you, if there is hatred of the English in Wales, and there is, it exists, it's because people at the top, like Leanne Wood, are promoting it, as you can see on social media. I mean, why on earth 
target your neighbour's uh, national anthem. Imagine if a prominent English Tory, <laughs> I dare say a Conservative politician, suggested the same thing, that uh, the English should drown out the Welsh national anthem and rubbish their annual celebration, whatever they do. I'll tell you now, these red far-left Welsh nationalists, oh, they'll be hopping from foot to foot with anger and they'll be claiming victimhood, anti-Welshness, bigotry, discrimination, racism. They'll be pulling out all the cards, folks. You can bet your bottom dollar. And looking through her Twitter feed, uh, this woman, Leanne Wood, uh, she was even proud to receive a, I think it was a stencil, I'm not too sure if it was a T-shirt or a stencil to put on clothing. And it was her face superimposed on the silhouette, the infamous silhouette of um, revolutionary Che Guevara. Of course, anyone with any intelligence who looks into history will know that Che Guevara was a notorious racist and he was also homophobic. He harboured a severe hatred of gay people. But of course, Che Guevara was a lefty, so it's allowed. Because if Leanne Wood was so against uh, racism and homophobia and she was really a humanist, then, you know, she'd be quite offended by having her face superimposed on this guy's uh, infamous silhouette. So anyway, after having her pointy Marxist ass voted out to the Welsh Assembly, all she does now are podcasts, uh, posts on Twitter and uh, some, you know, obscure stuff. And hopefully for the sake of the good people of Wales, the Welsh people who haven't been brainwashed by anti-English, anti-British propaganda and hatred of anything English and British. Hopefully, she will never return to politics and misrepresent them. So let's hope she stays on the fringes uh, along with her uh, extreme politics. Let her stay there and fester. So thankfully, there are people like myself in Wales or from Wales who harbour no hatred or bigotry, um, no ill will towards the English the Scots, the Irish, the uh, Ulstermen. We don't go online and say insane, hateful rhetoric against them because people like me, we've grown up from that childish bollocks. We've moved on. We've seen through it for what it is. And these people are simply just jumped up little Welshlanders who still wank over Owen Glyndor and uh, Llewellyn, the last Prince of Wales. And that's all they are. They're nothing. And they're just there to be laughed at. That's all it is. That, that really all it is. And for people like me to make videos about them, to wind them up. Because there will be Welsh nationalists watching this and they'll be going hopping mad because I'm saying this stuff and they'll be trying to cancel me and get me kicked off and it's funny. And it really is funny. That's what I think. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Do you agree with me? You know, is this anti-English hatred now just is it old hat have we had enough of it do we need to do we need to hear it why does it keep going on are you some bigoted welsh nash do you hate the english come on here and tell me why i want to know we want to know or are you english and british tell us what you think of these uh, idiotic welsh people these bigots who hate you and uh, what it stands to be british and english let me know give me your thoughts and if you'd like to join my channel, then the link is down below. There are three levels. The lowest is 99 pence. It's not mandatory. You don't have to. But those who have joined, I think level two and above, then you get this lovely perk here. There we go. Everyone knows that you support Paz49 and my lovely channel and free speech. There we go. They're enjoying their perks as we speak. So there we go. Up to you. And that's that. So until my next video, please comment, share, subscribe and Roger testicles.